Hi everyone, welcome back to the current affairs series on agriculture and rural development. My name is Pooja Rawat and this is our 31st session. So we are already done with the current affairs for the month of uh, July and now we are starting with August month. All right. So before we begin, all those people who are here for the first time, do subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon so that you don't miss on the latest updates. You can also join our telegram group uh, wherein you can post your queries and you'll be updated with the upcoming videos. Now this is our first question and it says consider the following statement with respect to recently launched PM Dutch portal and PM Dutch mobile app. So PM Dutch scheme has already been running by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and now this portal and app has been launched. So regarding this the first statement here is this portal and app is developed by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment in collaboration with the National E-Governance Division, which is under the METI, which is your Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So this is statement is correct. This is a collaboration between the Ministry of Social Justice and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Now, the second statement is it aims to make the skill development scheme accessible to the target groups see not everyone is covered under this uh, scheme so this is a kind of a skill development scheme but it is specifically meant for the target group like your obcs manual scavengers or scs sts the marginalized group all right so this is a kind of a uh, skill development scheme all right now this app and this portal will uh, make these schemes accessible to these people all right so both of these statements are correct and the correct option here would be C. Now talking about this scheme in detail, uh, this portal and the app. So PM Daksh stands for the Pradhan Mantri Dakshita or Kushalta Sampan Hitgrahi. So Dakshita and Kushalta is what? It's basically skill. Alright. So this Yojana is being implemented by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Uh, we have discussed this. Now this portal has been or app this uh, app has been launched. Now this platform has been developed by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment in collaboration with National E-Governance Division. We know that aim is to make this skill development scheme accessible to the target group. Now who are the people who are eligible for this scheme? These are the marginalized persons of uh, scheduled caste, OBCs, economically backward classes, denotified tribes, Sanitation workers, the manual scavengers and all, waste pickers, right, and manual scavenger, transgenders are also covered under this, right, so all the marginalized people uh, who are socially or economically backward, they will be covered through this scheme, this is a skill development scheme. Now the training program will be implemented through the training institutes, uh, the government training institutes or the Sector Skill Councils, which are constituted by the Ministry of Skill Development. Now, there are different uh, skill councils which provide skill training to the uh, needy people. All right. So, this tra the training programs under this schemes would also be implemented through those training institutes and the sector skill councils. All right. Now, the training that will be provided under the PM Daksha scheme uh, would be on uh, following things. All right. So target group we have already covered. Uh, upskilling and reskilling. All right, the people who are uh, performing such actions or activities, would, uh, their skill would be upskilled. That means uh, they know how to weave, but uh, they will be given training so that they could be professionally do that. They can earn more income from their uh, profession. All right. Now short term training programs, there will be a short term training programs of a few weeks, a few months and then there will be long term training programs. They will be also be given an entrepreneurship training. All right. So there will be an entrepreneurship development program so that they, these people can become the job providers instead of job seekers. All right. So that they can become job providers. They can establish their own. Uh, entrepreneurs uh, I and mean, they can become entrepreneurs and they can establish their enterprises or uh, small uh, services they could provide small services to uh, their skills and all all right so these are the training programs that will be covered under this scheme now the second question is which organization is responsible for the conduction of 
कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर सर्वे ऑप्शन आर बी आई एस एन एस एस ओ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट और द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेवेन्यू अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज एन एस एस ओ विच इज द नेशनल सैम्पल सर्वे ऑफिस दिस इज द नेशनल सैम्पल सर्वे ऑफिस कम्स अंडर द एन एस ओ नेशनल स्टैटिस्टिकल ऑफिस विच इज अ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एम ओ एस पी आई विच इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड प्रोग्राम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन और राइट नो कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर सर्वे इट्स कंडक्टेड बाई एन एस एस ओ आफ्टर एवरी फाइव ईयर्स और राइट बट द लास्ट सर्वे वॉज कंडक्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व और राइट सो देर हैज बीन अ गैप ऑफ अराउंड टेन ईयर्स सो इट वुड आई मीन इट वॉज डन इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एंड एटीन but government has denied to disclose the data the government had not uh, disclosed this data of this uh, survey all right so uh, now in the year 21 22 there are chances that this consumer uh, consumption expenditure survey is going to be held for this year all right so remember this that this is done by uh, nsso and it is done after every 5 years and the last survey was done in Uh, 2011 and 12. All right. Now the importance. What is the importance of this consumption expenditure survey? So names is suggest to us that consumption pe kitna expenditure kiya ja raha hai by households, right? Both urban and rural. ठीक है. So urban and rural people ka consumption ke upar consumption. It can be your food on food or non food items. right or services different services and uh, the consumption on education all right so uh, the pattern of this uh, spending okay so the pattern of this spending would be recorded under this survey uh, both for the urban and the rural people now ab ye survey ho gaya data collect kar diya ki uh, what is the consumption pattern of the different people residing in the अर्बन एरियाज और द रूरल एरियाज उस डेटा का किया क्या जाता है फर्स्ट थिंग इट हेल्प्स इन असरटेनिंग द प्रिवेलिंग इन इक्वेलिटी राइट पता चलेगा कि कितना इन इक्वेलिटी है कि हाउ मच रूरल पीपल आर स्पेंडिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द लास्ट सर्वे टू थाउजेंड एंड इलेवन ट्वेल्व इट हैज बिन नोटेड दैट द रूरल पीपल आर स्पेंडिंग मोस्ट ऑफ देयर इनकम और मोस्ट ऑफ देयर कंजम्पन इज ऑन फूड आइटम्स राइट while the urban people uh, as although they uh, are spending 40 to 45% on the food items but they are also spending on things like education and transportation or like uh, different services all right so uh, there is a gap between the rural and the urban consumption expenditure so government kya kar sakti is data ko analyze karke they can plan uh, the required uh, policy intervention or the uh, program intervention ठीक है, सो गवर्नमेंट को हेल्प करेगा फर्स्ट थिंग इट असर्टेन द इन इक्वालिटी सेकेंड थिंग इट विल गोइंग टू हेल्प द गवर्नमेंट इन प्लानिंग द पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोग्राम्स थर्ड थिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट क्या है इसमें कि जो पॉवर्टी लाइन आपकी डिसाइड की जाती है दिस डेटा ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन डिसाइडिंग द पॉवर्टी लाइन और द इंसिडेंस ऑफ पॉवर्टी इज इंक्रीजिंग तो पॉवर्टी लाइन को आप किस तरीके से डिटरमाइन uh, कर सकते हैं पहले आप कंजम्पन पता होना चाहिए लोगों की रिक्वायरमेंट पता होनी चाहिए ना कि रूरल एरियाज में दिस मच अमाउंट इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय पीपल फॉर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ देयर बेसिक नीड्स और एसेंशियल नीड्स है ना तो जब तक आपको कंजम्पन पैटर्न नहीं पता होगा तब तक आप पॉवर्टी लाइन असटेन नहीं कर सकते जो गवर्नमेंट सोशल सिक्योरिटी प्रोग्राम्स लॉन्च करती है तो उस उसको बेसिकली प्रॉपर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन के लिए एक इफेक्टिव इम्प्लीमेंटेशन के लिए यू नीड दिस डेटा दिस कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर डेटा आप since uh, it has not been uh, done or revealed uh, for the last 10 years you know the data has not been revealed for the last 10 years so there is a huge gap or isliye uh, this year the government is going to conduct this uh, consumption expenditure survey for the year 2021 22 all right so this one is important and remember this which uh, organization is responsible for conducting this survey now question number third is consider the following statement with respect to agro automatic weather stations all right 
so these automatic weather weather stations have been installed recently and uh, these are uh, these statements regarding to this first one is imd which is the indian meteorological department has undertaken installation of igro automatic weather stations at 200 district agro wet units so this one is correct so these are daus district agro wet units hain jisme ki uh, this uh, 200 stations pe aapko ye automatic weather stations basically install kiya gaya hai by md imd so this one is correct abhi karega kya second statement hai using aws which is the automatic weather stations we can monitor the weather conditions remotely okay so this Automatic weather stations jo hai, it consist of different sensors and uh, monitoring unit and the transmitting unit. So this station would analyze the data based on like uh, rainfall or the wind pattern, right? Uh, upcoming monsoon condition, onset of pest. So all these data or conditions would be analyzed or monitored by this uh, AWS and then since it has a transmitter, it can transmit this data to the uh, remote location where the head office is. All right, and then people uh, or the person sitting at the head office can easily analyze this weather condition and can plan the policies and the required intervention. Right, and this will also analyze the weather over the longer period of time. So it will help in analyzing the weather pattern over the longer period of time. And it will also help in generating accurate weather forecast. All right, since it's, it is consists of a lot of sensors, so it will measure different weather parameters and help in generating accurate weather forecast. All right, so both of these statements are correct, and the correct option here would be C. All right. Now another important thing is these DAUs are at uh, situated at the KVK uh, KVKs, which is your Krishi Vikas uh, Kendras and this is an ICR network. All right. Now, ye jo aapke automatic weather stations hai, ya district agromet units hai, ye kya karte hai? Inka kaam hota hai, they provide agromet advisory services. Thik, agricultural related jo weather advisory services hai, that has been provided by these DAUs, which is a district agromet units. And uh, there's a scheme called Grameen Krishi Mausam, Mausam Seva. All right? Grameen Krishi Mausam Seva is being run by Ministry of Earth Sciences. So, usi ke under ye district agreement units jo hai, wo, uh, uh, locate ke or establish kiye gai. And now, IMD has installed uh, their automatic weather station in these units. All right? So, it's basically going to augment the weather advisory services that has already been given by this district agreement units all right so keep that in mind now the next question is question number four india's first earthquake early warning system is launched in which state so recently india's first early warning system has been launched by uttarakhand all right so this early warning system is developed by iit Roorkee. In collaboration with State uh, Disaster Management Authority, okay, Uttarakhand State uh, Disaster Management Authority. So this has developed this. Ab ye kya karega? Ye early warning system hai. That means ki earthquake ka jab onset hone wala hoga, uske kuch seconds pehle information provide kar di jayegi to the people, all right? And the alert would be generated so that people can get evacuated easily, all right? And this is the first of its kind uh, early warning system, all right, and being uh, launched by Uttarakhand, all right, keep that in mind. Now, uh, there's an uh, app also being launched uh, known as Uttarakhand Bhukamp Seva, something like this. Uh, it is Uttarakhand Bhukamp Alert app, all right. So, this app also being launched and this app would provide basically uh, information or alert to the people uh, where the there's a possibility of the onset of earthquake all right so few seconds 10 to 15 seconds pehle ek alert generate kar diya jayega. and there is also an option in which people can mark themselves safe and people can uh, press the red button in uh, showing that they need help all right so um, it's a important um, intervention by the government all right 
Now the last question of today's session is which state government is implementing Indra Rasoi Yojana? All right. So this is not uh, something which is very new or recently being launched. Uh, all right. This scheme has already been uh, running by Rajasthan government. All right. But Rajasthan recently has uh, launched a series of nutrition focused program. Okay. See, Rajasthan state nutrition focused program जो है वो launch किए गए हैं Rajasthan government द्वारा and under these program and Indra Rasoi Yojana के uh, under uh, food would be provided to the needed needy people all right twice a day so twice a day this scheme under this scheme food will be provided to the needy people. So, as a dekha gaya ki due to the COVID situation or the pandemic condition, uh, there was a disruption in the ongoing schemes like ICDA, ICDS or the midday meal schemes. Schools are not running to midday meal scheme, scheme jo hai wo, uh, midday meal scheme sorry jo hai wo, uh, properly run nahi kar pa rahi. Is case mein jo, uh, state hai that is uh, suffering from the micronutrient deficiency people are suffering from the micronutrient deficiency that's why this government has launched a series of nutrition focus program wherein the food will be provided to the needy people and there will be an awareness a drive uh, regarding the nutrition and there is also a greater focus on the pregnant people uh, pregnant uh, women sorry for the for promoting healthy lifestyle all right so this is being run by rajasthan government so this was all about today's session. I hope you like it. In case you have any queries, do post it down. Alright, we'll see you in the next session. Till then, keep working hard and keep studying.